everyone. I hope everybody's doing well this week. And this week, what is popping and dropping is a dog pop-up card. And it, this is just for you. And I just did little dogs on the front and did some circles around it. And then we open it up and we have this cute dog laying on his back playing with the ball and we did little paws down here and his arm behind his head and then he's holding the ball with this hand and it says I rough you and then I didn't put a place on here for the back so I need to do that I forgot all about that but anyways let's go ahead and head over to design space and get started so I'll see you there Okay guys, now that we're in design space, these are the images that we're going to be using this week for our card. So if you want to go over to um, images and grab those real quick for our project, then we can go ahead and get started. So the first thing we want to do is get our band-aid. And on our band-aid, what we're going to do is let's go down the contour and we're going to keep this band-aid right here so we're going to hide everything in contour so contour and then if you hit the hide all contours and then click the second image here and then click back on that top one we'll only have this one left and we can close it out and then once we close it out we can go ahead and put at 2.105 by 2.583 rotated at 43.62 degrees we're going to place the X on 0 0.634 and the Y on 0 0.004 and then we're going to go get a, a square and then we're going to resize that square I did it 4.389 by 0 0.861 and you rotated it 328.01 degrees. The X will go on 0 and the Y will go on 1.445. Then we're just going to grab them both and we're going to hit slice. And all we're doing is cutting that tip of the off the end down here of the band aid. Then we can get rid of everything else. And then we can move that to the side. So the little guy looks like this. Before we start working on um, slicing things, I want to make sure your dog is sized to the same thing that um, we need it. And we want it the width to be 6 and then the height to be 5.862. Now once we do that, we're going to go up to the top and we're going to go to the layers panel and we're going to ungroup it. And then we're just going to move this aside. Well, actually, let's just work on it now. We're going to get rid of these two pieces here. So we're going to go down to the bottom to contour. And we're going to click on the circle and then click on this little guy. And then we can just kind of move him over here. Then let's go back up and get the next layer, which is the yellow piece. We're not going to use this bottom, so let's go to contour. And we're going to hide the legs and the arm. So we should just have this facial piece. And then we can move that over there. And then we have these two pieces left here. So on these two pieces, we're going to go to shapes and let's get a square. And let's do the brown piece first. And then my X and my Y are both at zero. Then we're going to take that square and we're going to resize that square to 2.889 by 2.153. And then I place my square, the X at 1.57 and then the Y at 3.193. Now if you go ahead before we um, slice it, right click on our square and duplicate it. And then we're going to use it for the next piece that we need to. 
then once we have this here, let's grab it both and then go down to the bottom and hit slice. And then we can move these pieces out of the way and we can delete it. And then we have this guy left. So we don't need any of this. So let's go down to contour and we can just hide hit hide all and it should just have the face live but click on this here so we can move this piece aside down here and then we'll skip this guy and then get that square we saved so it looks like mine has to be at 0 0.028 on my X and my Y and then that square we have just to make sure it's the same size it's 2.889 by 2.153 then we're going to take that square and we're going to position the X on 1.584 and then the Y at 3.222 then we can do the same thing as before grab it all and then go down to the bottom and hit slice and then we can move everything out of the way and delete this and then highlight the dog and let's go down to the bottom to contour and then hide the bottom of the dog and then we should have this piece that we have that done let's go get our little doggy here and then once we have him we can go up to ungroup and get rid of everything that we don't need. Go to shapes and get a square. Let's make sure that our dog is sized to 5.071 by 4.917. Then with our square, we're going to resize that square, um, make it a 2 by 2 square. We're going to rotate it 34.66 degrees. We're going to place the X at 2.012 and the Y at 1.734. Then we're going to grab them both and hit slice. Then we can get rid of this and then highlight him and go down to contour and we're going to get rid of everything but the tail. So you can hit hide it all unclick the tail and then click this one up here and then we're left with the tail and now we can move this piece aside do shapes we're gonna go down here and get this moon then we're gonna go to shapes again and we're gonna get a square we're gonna make that square 4.389 by 0.861 we're going to place the X and the Y at zero. Then with that moon, we're going to make the width 1.74 by two and a half. We're going to rotate it 270 degrees. We're going to place the X at 0 0.939 and then the Y at 0 0.352. Then we're going to grab them both and hit slice. And then we should have this piece here. And we can go ahead and move that aside. Now let's go to shapes. Let's get a square. We're going to change that square, the width 1.625, and then the height to 0 0.5. And then we can move this piece aside. And this piece we're going to put on the back of our tennis ball. Then let's work on our card base. Our car base is going to be ten and a half by six and a half. We're going to go to shapes and get a score line. We're going to place that score line in the middle of our card. So if you grab the score line and your card base and go up to align and then align center, it will center it. Then go down to the bottom and hit attach. Then we'll need four pieces of pretty paper. They're going to measure five by six and a quarter. 
and that is it now we're going to work on the dog so let's go to shapes let's get a circle we're going to make that circle 1.278 by 1.278 we're going to place the x at 7.95 and then the y at 4.627 shapes we're going to get a square we're going to make that square 2.75 by 1.986 we're going to place the X at 6.047 and the Y at 3.877. Then we're going to go to shapes again. We're going to get a circle. We're going to make that circle 1.278 by 1.278. We're going to place the X at 7.908 and then the Y at 4.585. Then remember this shape that we made and we set aside, it looks like this now. Get that shape and we're going to resize it to 2.5 by 1.231. We're going to place the X at 4.681 and then the Y at 3.419. Go to shapes and we're going to get this guy right here. And then we're going to go to shapes again and we're going to get a square. We're going to make that square 2.75 by 1.972. We're going to place the X at 4.242 and then the Y at 3.891. Then with this shape here, we are going to make it 1.085 by 2.071. We're going to rotate it 90.75 degrees. We're going to place the X at 1 and then the Y at 4.545. Shape, let's go to shapes. Let's get the square. We're going to resize it to 5.903 by 1.097. We're going to place the X at 2.922 and then the Y at 4.558. Then we're going to go to shapes again. We're going to get a square and then let's go to shapes again and we're going to get this triangle right here. We're going to make that triangle 0 0.261 by 1.48. We're going to rotate it 94.33 degrees. We're going to place the X at 2.795 and the Y at 5.611. Then the square, we're going to resize to 2.252. Height is going to be 1.627. The X will be at 6.936. And then the Y will be at 3.419. And let's go to shapes. We're going to get a square and then go to shapes again. And we're going to get another one of these guys. We're going to make this in width 1.01. .01 in height, in height 3.106. We're going to rotate it 146.84 degrees. The X we're going to place on 3.422 and the Y on 1.761. Then with that square we're going to make it 2.252 and in height we're going to make it 1.627. We're going to rotate it 299.62 degrees. The X we're going to place at 7.104 and then the Y at 2.101. Two more shapes and then we are done with this. Okay, let's go over and get our tail that we cut off. So go get that piece. We are going to make his tail 1.66 by 4.088. We're going to rotate it 336.45 degrees. We're going to place the X at 2.405 and then the Y at 1.059. Then let's go to shapes and get another one of these guys. We're going to make it 0 0.977 by 2.229. We're going to rotate it. 202.6 degrees. We're going to place the X at 8.077 and then your Y at 1. 
and then what we can do is grab this all and then go down to the bottom and we're going to hit weld. Now, once you hit weld, if you look at the top, everything, the X and your Y should be on one. And then our size is 8.642 by 4.905. But we, we need to resize his body. We need to resize it to 7.969 by 4.523. Okay. Now for your paws, just take your paws and resize them to whatever size you would like to fit in um, his on his legs down by his feet. This one doesn't have a paw because you don't see the inside. You're seeing the front side of his leg. Okay, so for his head, um, we can get all of those pieces that we had. You're just going to place them back on top like they are. You can choose whatever color you would want. And then for the eyes, you can just fit to um, inside your doggy if you're going to use these eyes. Now the only thing I did to make the dog look like it was looking at us, you're going to go up and ungroup each of these and we're going to get rid of one of each of the eyes. So we're only going to keep one eye. So once you have one eye, all you're going to do is turn your eye to whichever way you want him to be looking, if you want to change his eye. Okay? So, I'm good with something like that. Then you can just right click, duplicate, and then do the same thing. And you're just going to make your eyes fit inside of on the doggy where the eyes go. It doesn't matter how big or small you make this. There's no wrong way. And then once we have your eyes how you would like them, we're going to group it all together like so. Once we have it grouped, you're going to make his head 4.719 by 2.5. Five, seven, eight. And then we can just group this together and move it aside. Now his arm, we want to resize it to 1.331 by 2.412. The tennis ball, if we haven't resized it, we need to resize it to 2.261 by 2.261. And that's going to go there and this piece will need also for the tennis ball. Now let's get our dog body and we're going to put it all the way to the top as far as we can which it looks like the X will be on zero and then our Y will be on 0 0.028. We're going to go to shapes and we're going to get a score line. We're going to make that score line 7.527 in height. We're going to rotate it 92.43 degrees. The X we're going to place at 0 0.026 and the Y at 3.823. Then let's go to shapes again. We're going to get another score line. We're going to make that score line 2.01. We're going to rotate it 1.86. The X we're going to place on 4.269 and then the Y on 2.487. Then let's go to shapes again and get a score line. We're going to make that score line 1.752 in height. We're going to rotate it 3. 113.92 degrees. 
we're going to place the X at 3.03 .03 and the Y at 2.761. Then let's go to shapes again. We're going to get another score line. We're going to make that score line 1.139 in height. We're going to rotate it 264.75 degrees. The X we're going to place at 2.305 and the Y at 3.22. Then we're going to go get another score line. We're going to make it 1.139 in height. We're going to rotate at 9.04 degrees. The X will place at 3.46 and the Y at 2.032. Then let's go get another score line. We're going to make that score line 2.359 in height. We're going to rotate at 45 degrees. The X we're going to place at 4.317 and then the Y at 2.328. Then we can grab it all and go down to the bottom and hit attach. This is all the pieces we'll need besides the extra pieces you would like to add. Don't forget to go up and save and name your project. And that's it. So go ahead and get your pieces cut out and I'll meet you back at the table and we'll start putting this together. I'll see you there. Okay, now that we're here at the table, what we can do is fold our score lines and place our pretty paper on. Our card is going to open this way this week. So let's go ahead and do that. So once we have that done, it should look like your card base so this is after we got the pieces done guys this is a relatively um, easy card score our dog so I like to start on the tail end over here and what we can do is fold our score lines into us And then we can do the opposite side down by the tail. So now that we have these two folded right here by his legs, what we can do is the score line that comes in front of the V, we can fold that. And then we can fold it in half on the score line here. And then we can go over to this diagonal line. This one is going to go out too. It's going to fold in like a mountain fold. So you should be able to just squeeze it together. So this guy will go in like so, and this will fold in half like so with our card. smooth it out okay that's how it's folded well, it folds in half in our card now the last line we can fold is the line across the bottom and we're gonna fold it towards us so this is how mine is looking and yours should be looking similar and then to put it on our card is really simple. We just line our 
center score line in the score line of our card. And we need this approximately two inches up so our hand doesn't, our arm doesn't show here, our leg doesn't show up here, and our tail doesn't show down here. So about two inches. And you can put just along the edge here glue, right? And adhere it to your card. And you don't have to, if you don't want to, glue it all the way down. If you see, like here, I just have this end glued and then no glue on the center here and then about to here on his leg. So from here to here, I have glue. So this leg is kind of rising up. If you want to glue it down like so, you sure can. There's nothing wrong with gluing it down. It's just kind of however you would like to have it. So what we can do is put this aside and work on our head. So let's do that. And we can do our, our tennis ball too while we're at it. Okay, I have my two inches measured out. I just did it in the score line of my card. And that's where I know I need to place my doggy above that. So if you want, you can always fold the guy up inside if you don't want to measure. So we see it's legs not going out and his tails not going outside of that line and you can always check to make sure now on the glue I just go with a light bit of glue on his leg And I do not put anything on my score line. I go past it. So that's where I'm going to glue mine. You can see that there. Give it a second to dry. And that's how it turned out. And that's what it looks like from this side. And it closes up very nicely. And his head, you want to make sure it doesn't get caught up in your fold line here. So you can put it anywhere on this section up here. So I like that. So I just put a little glue on this area, like so. And then figure out where I wanna lay it. You don't wanna cover his leg up all the way and you don't wanna be in the fold of your score line over here now for our tennis ball that little piece I had you cut out I didn't cut one out I forgot but that's okay I'm just gonna make a piece I have it where you can fold it in half to make it a little bit stronger
So what I did was in here, put glue and adhered to the other side of it. And then just keep in mind if you want your tennis ball going a certain way, like, or your ball, a certain way like if you want this showing then you'd want to glue it down here and you just want enough so you can place it in this area so about half of your tab so about that's about how much I'm going to leave out I'm just going to put a little glue where I want it And we could have connected this to our ball, but I didn't want to in case you wanted to use a different kind of ball or a toy. You could use a toy, like say a stuffed animal or something that a dog would play with. Then once that's dry, what we can do is put a, a little glue here and we're gonna place it to this. So, you just want to make sure, you see when we fold our card to us, how this folds, you don't want to block anything in this middle section here. So you want to glue it somewhere in that area, okay? So it'll fold down nice and neatly in this slot. And you're not going to see this because our arm is going to hide the ball. So just put a little glue on here. And then place the dog, or the ball. Dog. If you want, you can shut your card too. So that's how I ended up where I put mine. And you just want to make sure when, before you put it on that everything is, is folding nicely and not touching or catching on anything. Okay. Now, the arm. You want to place it somewhere in this triangle section. And you want to place it just above that score line so anywhere in this little section here you can place your arm so that's how it's looking like and everything's shutting nicely so what i'm going to do is go decorate my card real quick and come back and show you what i came up with so i'll be right back okay guys so this is what i came up with it says your dog gone possum and look how cute he is. I just love how he turned out. Isn't that cute? Do you guys know what dogs like to eat for breakfast? Wolfles. <laughs> there you have it. Thank you guys so much for crafting with me. And be sure to join me next week to see what's popping and dropping. Bye.